Hey everybody, Felix Stoffelbaker here. I can't even express how big of a deal it is that Thomas Farley is going to assume after the pilot of Bullish when it launches the CEO role. I mean, I can't express how major that is. Um, it, it went under the radar for a lot of people I mean, it was reported on, but a lot of people were writing it off, not understanding who Thomas Farley is and how he was the one who put $10 million on the New York Stock Exchange balance sheet into Coinbase in 2013 and was blown away at what they were doing and how things were happening there and how he understands not only the legacy landscape and how all that functions in the legal aspects what to do what not to do and those kinds of things what you should get clarity on as to not we know the leadership's solid at bullish so there you know there's not going to be any stupid mistakes of him not knowing or something like that he's a veteran at this and you know i i made a video uh last year about the same thing with Marty Chavez just how big of a deal Marty Chavez joining block one board of directors was and you know still is and that went under the radar because there was even bigger news of things like Google B- Cloud becoming a, a blog producer candidate on the EOS mainnet and it's like all this information is coming out and people aren't putting this all together but if you have a a clear focus on what is actually possible you know I see something like bullish literally having the potential to become the new New York Stock Exchange or become like a a parallel with some of these other major markets like the CME like all that type of stuff there's you know five or six big a big uh, trading Uh, deals and you know bullish could be right up there with them because they have a guy like Tom Thomas Farley and I mean he's just pretty brilliant when it comes to finance and running things like that and you know people are underestimating this they're not pricing this in whatsoever bullish is coming out the gates valued at nine billion I mean it keeps coinbase CEO up at night I mean CZ Binance is uh, shaking in his boots from the things that are coming because they're having to change and adapt to the regulations where Block One worked with regulators the entire time and now they have somebody who's been the head of the New York Stock Exchange and know exactly what everything needs and he can literally just apply all that and have such smooth adoption of what they're trying to do with no uh, regulatory hurdles holding them back like all these other people are going to have to stand in line and wait and get approved for all this stuff and I just don't think people realize how big that is I mean there's a reason people aren't buying what they're going to buy on bullish not buying it on Coinbase right now I mean there's there's clear reasons for that all the different stuff going on because Coinbase even though they have the long track record probably the longest they're the most trusted everybody knows them whatever they're still not regulatory compliant for what's coming ahead where bullish has been not only working with regulators but almost coming up with the regulatory framework and building a system into that that it's going to be seamless they're going to be the top dogs right out of the gate and they're going to be the ones to have all that um, to catch up and they're not going to be able to catch up and you know we could see something taking over like the New York Stock Exchange you know bullish becoming that and then them use the EOS token similar to the way Binance uses BNB token where it's it's a utility token on the platform itself as well as one of the deepest liquidity pools and uh, largest APR 
um, on your staking to be able to add to that liquidity pool for certain, you know, it, the longer you would add to the liquidity pool, uh, obviously the more it would, it would pay. And so, you know, if something like that were to take place, this would absolutely change the whole, the whole structure of finance. And I don't think that it's priced in yet. I don't think people understand it. I don't think, I think it's super underestimated and I'm just beyond excited, couldn't be happier. And I don't think people are just ready for how big this type of thing is. And, you know, we could see tokens, you know, Brendan Bloomer t made a tweet where he talked about DeFi box. He talked about IQ. He talked about VIG and he talked about checks and he listed those four in a tweet uh, as far as DeFi projects on EOS and you know there's no connection that he said those would be on bullish but if he is mentioning those he's putting you know his name on that I don't think that I think he's done his research and he knows what's going on and potentially those tokens would be uh, the best tokens and the best opportunity to be listed on an exchange like bullish from projects on the EOS blockchain. I think projects like challenge application should be on there as well and a few other ones emanate and stuff like that but it's up to you know then we'll see this play out but I think that you know this is the prime opportunity and Tom Farley joining this team is going to kickstart things and you know you have to understand too he's not there yet he's not doing anything yet as a CEO quote unquote so once he's there once he's taking the reins and start steering this thing in the right direction I mean it's looking out I would be watching out for EOS and if I was holding any other uh, token especially if it was came out of an ICO I'd be concerned and starting to be worried and just really make changes that you would necessarily need to avoid all those problems so I'm gonna put that out there Stoffel Baker out